Today I gave out the exact lines for the bounce, the first bounce for AUVI, 18 and 16. I even posted one of them. I had to leave, otherwise I would have got the $16 one too. So you guys are asking like, hey, what do you think of this? Why don't you just join? Alex has a watch list daily. That watch list pretty much pays for your membership, guys. And for you guys that are having trade ideas, scanners, news fees, you're like, oh, I'm already tapped out. I can't afford a fucking mentorship program. I'm like, dude, those are useless. It's like, I can give you a fucking tool, but you don't know how to fucking use it. If I, if I give a fucking some monkey a fucking hammer, unless the monkey knows how to use a hammer, he might use a hammer to beat himself in the head. That's exactly what, what uneducated traders are. They're beating themselves heads with all these useless tools they don't know how to use. It's like me giving a car or a motorcycle. Let's, let, me, let me say, let me give you a motorcycle that you don't know how, know how to ride a motorcycle. You will kill yourself with that motorcycle. So stop, 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 guys. Buying all these useless ass shit until you know how to trade. The first thing you need to do is to educate yourself. You see a doctor buying all fancy ass instruments that they don't know how to fucking operate? First is to go to school so you learn how to operate. How will you even know what a good scanner setting is? You don't even know how to fucking trade. So get rid of all that shit. Scanners will cost you the same amount as the membership to MIC. Hit up Tosh, tell I want to get rid of the fucking scanner and he's going to help you out. Today I'll give you a discount on a quarterly package or something, okay guys? And it's going to be cheaper than your fucking scanner. So get rid of the fucking scanner, get rid of all that shit until you know how to trade. So what the fuck are you doing with all these sticks? It's going to add 350 bucks a month? I'm like, oh, you stupid. <laughs> you stupid. That's why you're fucking losing. Scanners and all that stuff, they're great, but we have that in the room. People are posting it. Plus, how do you even know what the fuck to filter for? <laughs> Anyways. So, I mean, yeah, we have videos on why you should get rid of your scanners and things like that. I don't, I don't want to get into that. So, today's topic, I'm going to make it quick, guys. Yep, Alex is like rushing me. He's like, get the fuck, get to start talking. <laughs> I ramble on, but I'm just waiting for everybody to pop in. But today's topic is going to be very simple, guys. Chat rooms. Where are all these volume coming from? So, I'm going to give you a quick and dirty lowdown on how chat room pumps work okay pumps have been around forever it's nothing new even in large caps apple the analysts are pumpers they do upgrades downgrades all that shit how would they fucking know what's the upgrade downgrade it's they're pumping that shit but they're legal because they're in a suit right they, they're licensed and all that stuff and then back in the day there's a penny stock pumper they pump to promote to pump paper and then the other people in the chat room are pumping because they have a position in a low float so some, ba some big guy with a big following loads up all the shares. They call it front, front, front running or front loading, okay? Front running. So you front run a stock by secretly buying shares cheap on low flows. And you tell your fucking friends. So there's different levels of this, right? And the next thing you know, they got, okay, I'm gonna alert this shit at a certain time. And that's why these stocks go, whoo! This is why a lot of these guys are Getting onto the Twitter, I mean, the, the, the YouTube stream. <laughs> if you see some motherfucker pumping stocks on YouTube or a Discord room, you know, it's like, fuck, dude. I mean, if you're pumping shit, I mean, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> I, I don't pump. Of course, I can pump and make a lot of money, but I don't do that. That's because that's, if you don't know how to trade, guys, you pump. And to me, that's blood money. I would, I would never do it. We don't pump in the chat room. Alex does a watch list that we trade off of like an hour before the market opens. We are trading the same lines as you. We are teaching you the process. That's the key, guys. We're teaching you the process. So knowing that, knowing that, how do you take advantage of that? There's two ways to take advantage of that. Okay? With a pump, I'm going to explain the, I want to tell you the timeline of a pump. First, you have, I call that day zero. Day zero is when the main pumper guys they do the research they find a low float and they start the scheme i call it a scheme because that's fucking what it is they're scheming they call it due diligence call you what the fuck you want to do it's like unless there's volume these stocks won't move naturally it's because of volume from the pumps 
So they get in on day zero, and day one, you know, they, they make it seem cool, like, you know, they just found this shit, you know, so it makes it less obvious, right? So there's different levels of sophisticated types of pumpers. There's the YouTube guys, which is basically, they buy it, they pump it to their chat room, then there's a YouTube that has a, maybe a 15 second delay, 30 second delay, so that's the second round. So the moment that in their chat room they're hitting, they're telling people to buy, so the stock has the initial surge up, and then, cool. And then, 15, 30 seconds later, YouTube feed gets it, and then that's the secondary push. And that's when they start to sell to the secondary push. When it tops out, when there's no buying, they dump it. There's really no skill to that, guys. You cannot learn to do that because you do not have 20,000 sheep in your room doing this kind of stuff, right, guys? So, how do you take advantage of that? You learn, you know that these things are pumps. So, how do you take advantage? Once again, there's a cycle to the pump, right? It has to go up first. So, why not ride it long? Do not short these pumps at the start of the pump. That's when you die. You don't know where it could possibly go. You need to wait for it to top out. But just knowing that, you know, knowing that pattern, Know that you can go long. Go long. If you're going long, go small size. Ride it with them. Put a hard stop. The key to a pump is this. The key to the pump is not to fucking hold forever. These pumps can run for two days, three days. Who knows? The key is to use a hard stop. A trailing stop, if you want. Google that term, trailing stop. So what happens is a lot of people, they don't put these stops in because they're like, I am up $2 a share. How can I ever be down? As you notice, when they pull the rug on the bids, it tanks, guys. So what's saving you is a hard stop. But there's a fancier way to stop, which people do not understand or know about. It's called a trailing stop. As the stock goes up, the, your stop automatically goes up. So you can go to work. You can go to the bathroom, you can do whatever you want to do, go have sex, do whatever the fuck you want to do. And you put a, like 50 cents limit, meaning like the stop's always 50 cents, so it moves along with the stock. So this way, you don't sell out early, and at the same time, you get protected on the downside. And always use a limit stop, because these stocks skip. What do I mean by skip? They teleport. So if you put a sale at fifteen dollars at fifty cents, it could skip right through the fifty, and you will never fill. That's why you need to always use a market stop, trailing stop. Okay, use the trailing market stop. Okay, the moment it hits the top, boom. That's that. That's trailing stop will get you out. So you're done. So that's how you trade to make money using the long side. If you had done that with GME. With AMC, with KOSS, with all those Wall Street bets, you would have sold out at the top. Put in even a $50 trailing stop on GME. It hit 500 bucks. That means when it hits 450, you are out. So you would have sold GME at 450 fucking dollars. Think about that, guys. You may not sell the top, but you surely didn't sell the bottom. And the guys that sold early at $100 are pissed off. They're rebuying at the top, but you're just riding that puppy up. So the key is to know how much to put that widget. I mean, that fudge factor, right? That's where experience comes in, guys. This is where over time you learn how to put it up. But the key is the trailing stop. If you are a long bias trader trading these swing pumps, because once again, these stocks do go up. The problem is, they call it this, guys. They call it stairs, stair, step up. I mean, the stair steps up slowly, elevator down, boom, dead. Okay, stair step up, stair step up, elevator down. And the elevator down, if you are a manual, you will not fucking have time. You go take a shit, you come back, you're, you, you took a shit, your stock took a shit. Okay, so that tra trailing limit, uh, market stop, if you don't have trailing stop, Google it. Um, I don't even know if Robinhood has it. 
I don't, I don't, don't, don't know Robin Hood. If you're a serious trader, why the fuck are you trading Robin Hood? Robin Hood, you can't even sell until 9 a.m. or something, right? So you're a fucking at a disadvantage. If the fucking bad news comes out, you're fucking the last to sell. <laughs> Alex and I have already made a fucking fortune before 9 a.m. <laughs> so today I was like, dude, I'm already done, but then like b- before pre market. And Robin Hood didn't wake up yet. So we in the chat room are alerting people, you know, 9 a.m. is coming, and so there's gonna be a volume surge. So you prepare for the idiots that come at 9 a.m. The idiots are the ones that are in Robin Hood. No offense to you idiots, but you are a fucking idiot. You're an idiot being cheap, not wanting to pay a little commission, and then Robin Hood does what they does to you. And now all of a sudden you can't even fucking buy. You can't even average down. You can't even do whatever the fuck you want to do. There's no tops. Robin Hood may not even have a fucking trailing stop. So you're stuck manually doing this shit. You're going to your fucking job at Denny's, and you're like, I'm fucking rich, bitch. You come back from your fucking break. And I'm like, oh, fuck. I now got to fucking kill work at Starbucks on top of Denny's, too, now. Because I'm fucking broke. Stair step up. Elevator down, guys. Just remember how the pump works. Okay? For these pumps, most of you guys would love killing it on the long side. But you also have to understand. These are worthless pieces of shit. And the way to protect yourself is a hard stop. But now you learn a new type of stop, right? A trailing market stop if you are a short seller this is how you make money you understand this pattern let these guys move it up as much as they want and then there's a level so this is if you're shorting you got to be more sophisticated you have to learn how to long first guys before you become a good short seller um because how do you you have to put your mind into the 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 concept of a long to understand the short because a lot of the amateur shorts they will go bankrupt they short way too early. The key is to know the backside. I hate this word, the backside, because people have no fucking clue what the real backside is, okay? The backside is defined as when the trend changes. The problem is you're drawing these fucking vertical lines, horizontal lines, and you're like, and everybody's drawing them differently. How the fuck you know the trend? The trend can reverse like this, okay? We teach that in MIC, but it's a very, co- so the way you do it is you, basically wait for a signal death candle whatever but the death candles can fucking change on you heartbeat. once again you need to use a hard stop so if you're a short seller i'm not even tell you how to fucking do it because it's too complex for this 30 minute ig live right now okay but i'll show you a trick guys this is a trick i use on what did i use it on <laughs> i use this on ocgn i think or is it a- actually I use it on AAME I think AAME I used it the day before before it crashed AAME that stock went to 17 bucks so what I did was I forgot one of those but I used a stop to enter a short this is what I'm gonna teach you guys this is a fucking this is a fucking huge secret that people don't fucking teach you people use stops to exit a losing position I have been using stops to enter a position so if you want to enter a short what I do is I do a hard stop market stop on you can do this on trailing too basically you're selling you're selling shares you don't have so the typical way to do a hard stop is you already got shares and so now you're selling the shares you have but what I did was I said okay this is the death line this is a support I, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I don't have a position yet. I'm going to do a market stop on the breach of the support line. That's what I do. Because it's too fast. When it breaks, you're like, boom. You're, you're, you, you cannot fucking fill. But I'm one of the first to fill because I have that trigger in there. Same thing for you to enter a long on a break over VWAP or whatever the hell the, the line is, right? You can do a stop to buy. Does that make sense, guys? People are using stops just to cover their asses when they lose. I'm using these stops to have the system enter a position for me. So if you know if it breaks this line, you want to short. I put a stop in, then I'm short. It shorts for me automatically. If I know that I've got to break the high of day, it's going to squeeze, and we put a market buy-in. 
on a stop. And you can do this with trailing as well, guys. So if it goes up every 50 cents, boom. So if you wanted to do that, you, you could nail GME on the top, guys. <laughs> 50 bucks from the top. You put in 50 bucks, trailing stop, boom, you're done. But the key to making money, guys, you do not need much size. You pick these pumps. These pumps have a lot of what we call meat. A lot of people love to cast the top. And if you're early, you're fucking screwed. The key is to have a solid entry because it makes the rest of the trade much easier. If you're down on the stock, I guarantee you, most amateurs, including myself, I'm a, man, I'm a manager, I'm an amateur, I just want to break even. I'm a, just fucking please. And I'm even worse. I'm a control freak where if I'm upside down, I don't need to break even. I just need to lose a manageable amount. So I would get out before I even break even. And then only to see that stock go in my direction, I'm like, what the fuck? So you rather miss guys than do not. So as a swing trader, you can set these stops up as well. Stops only work during the market hours and not pre-market. Pre-market is too little uh, um, liquidity. So you can set these triggers to set up if you're a swing trader too. And, this is, and there's also things called a bracket order, conditional order, OCO order, all those orders, okay? We teach all that, but this is how you protect yourself. Start making it a habit. So I've been using stops as a habit, and it helps me tremendously. I, I Now, I'm like, instead of stalking, so I'm a short, right? I like to short. So instead of just staring at the stock all day, hoping it goes down, I put in my hard, hard stop sell. Now I'm good. If it breaks this level, I don't have to watch anymore. I can go out by day and know that if it triggers it, I'm in. Done. So, pumps. Don't care where it comes from. Do not worry, because if you worry too much about the pump, you are gonna overthink, and that's what they want. They're like, dude, but this guy's making a lot of money. But you don't understand, this motherfucker's already in and selling. <laughs> what they do is they're already sold, so they will never lose, okay? But to understand where these pumps come from, I always want to know if there's a natural pump or an organic squeeze. If it's organic, meaning it's natural, news driven, people are not being suckered to buy it. Then, then I'm more, let's say if I was a short, then I'm more likely to avoid it because it's natural. But if it's a pump and dump, I know it's fake. I am stalking that motherfucker to short it. Because I know that the moment that it sells off, it's going to be a big crater. And that's why I love shorting these guys. <laughs> I post in the room all day. They, they, they make a big part of my income, guys. <laughs> they make a big part. I time it with their sales. And you can, you know, that's what it is. And so the same thing with a long, okay? If you know it's a natural organic long, you know it's natural. So it's legit. So you can, you can have more confidence. But you know if it's pumped by a chat room, your fucking finger better be on a sell button. Remember, he's like, those guys are like, finger on the sell button, finger on the sell button, finger on the buy button. You don't need a finger on there. Put the hard stop in. Your hard stop is faster than the fucking finger, guys. Okay? At the end of the day, you still need to learn how to trade, guys. But just knowing that simple concept, because, man, I see so many of my friends, I see so many of people, they're, they, they, they got the balls to enter these pumps. But they're only rich on paper. And at the end of the day, they always lose because they, they, they get scammed. Because they're like, I'm up so much. And so when you're up so much, you know what you do? You get greedy. You're like, I wish I mortgaged my house. I wish I put more money in. I wish I did this. And so you're, pr you're praying for the stock to go down so you can add more. This is the most greedy son of a bitch type stuff that which I used to do as an amateur. When I started trading, I was like, fuck, man. I wish, this sh I wish, wish I was more. So I'm praying it comes down so I can buy. That's the wrong attitude. You already missed a fucking trade, dude. You know, don't be the sucker that buys back your own fucking shares <laughs> or some other guy's shares. Whew. Is there anything else, Alex? I hope that, um, because when I keep these short and sweet now, uh, I've been running a little long on these. I'm going to take a couple questions and uh, we'll, we'll end it here. So each one of these IG Live, you learned something. Today you learned how to use stops and trailing stops to enter a position that you are not in, not just to take the loss.
cool guys we'll see you in the room and uh we're gonna keep these short and sweet now because i think it's more people all like to watch these long things if you want to know more join the chat room guys there's so much more and um you know keep at it guys we'll see you guys next time bye bye Hey, tomorrow, Tasha's webinar, guys. Tasha's webinar, uh, Wednesday at 2 p.m. market time. I'll be there. Hoping Tasha.